Well, hello, Nick Morrison. How are you, sir? I'm fantastic, Andrew. Thank you. How are you? Thank you for making time to see me in a pinch. Um, every week we do a member spotlight. Thank you for offering to do this. We're going to promote you in the group and on the Slack channel and in our YouTube channel. Given that we are still growing to build a critical mass, I'll have to spotlight you again, so don't worry. Um, so it'll all be good. So um, a lot of what I try to accomplish in the spotlight is not just to talk about somebody's business and what we can do for them, but to talk about that person so that we really understand the person that we're also trying to help. So I'm gonna ask you this question. You know, Nick, I talk a lot about GAS, which is an acronym I use for give it a bit, yeah. right? That's right. Um, what do you give a shit about? People what do you having, really give a shit about? People having the lives that they choose. And I'm fully under the understanding that not everybody has the tools to have the lives that they choose. And so what my real stand is, is that people have the tools in order to have the lives that they choose. And so for me, it's really a matter of like, you know, I don't believe in handouts, but handouts, right? And really like helping people achieve the things that they really want to in their life. Um, and I don't know if you want any part of the backstory, you know, maybe part of it's I grew up in a, a relatively small farming town in Idaho, um, which where, you know, there was rampant, um, uh, they just, there was tough financial standards. Um, you know, I mean, a lot of poverty that was there and a lot of different things. And I saw and I looked around and I saw these like amazing people that I went to school with that, that I thought were amazing and really great people. And there was like a lot of potential that was in there, but a lot of them just never really had the opportunity or like the real shot. Um, right. And maybe it wasn't like the shot to go to university for one reason or the other. It wasn't the shot in order to get like the internship somewhere in the road. And then like it just really like, I, I don't know, I think it really impacted me in that moment. And so from then on out, I'm like. I've always thought about like, you know, what would li a life really look like of helping people have the tools to have the lives they choose. Wow. So your story in your life has so much to do with why you're doing what you're doing. Amen. Amen. Oh my God. That is so perfect. So um, if there was one thing why people should I mean, because there's lots of recruiters, there's lots of people in HR. You know, if there was one thing why Nick Morrison, you know, wh why they should go to you, why they should trust you, why they should rely on you to do what you do, what would be that big, big thing? Why Nick, why Nick Morrison? Well, it's gracious of you to say that. And like, you know, I think maybe the difference is with me and with other people. For me, you know, work, work and what I do professionally, like in recruiting and really helping people connect to work that's meaningful for them and really unlocking the full potential of business. Like, that's just my platform to accomplish the things that I'm out to in life. Uh, you know what I mean? And so I'm really out in order to have people like choose the tools to have, a, or, you know, having the tools of life to the choose. And so like just connecting people to work that's really special and meaningful and impactful for them is a really big deal. And it's the same thing on other sides of companies. Like companies can only fulfill their full potential by having people that are truly engaged to the work that they do. Um, and I think that, you know, business is a true force for good. You know, it's not a matter of like, hey, how can we see these organizations make the most amount of money possible? You know, that's great. And there certainly needs to be a profit, a part of that. But, you know, how can we really like make a bigger impact and a deeper meaning? And so for me, it really comes from like a, a deep level within me of like what I'm up to. It's not just a profession, but like I'm on a mission in life. Andrew, like I'm, I'm up to something and I'm out to do it. And, and then my professional life just happens to be a part of that. So um, maybe it means something different to me. Like I don't, you know, I don't get hung up on transactions or dollars or what it is. Like just if we can help people and really change and impact this entire ecosystem, that's what I want to be a part of. So I, I think, you know, why people should work with me or Proteri or my firm or otherwise, if, if that's what you're, you're out to and you attach to that, then, you know, maybe we should have a conversation. <laughs> That was the perfect answer. How I, how I would sum that up, Nick, is you live your life in alignment with who you are and what you do. And, and it, you know, that's a summary of what you just said. And, you know, what you do for a living is 
your personal mission. You, you attached your story to it. It makes sense. So um, what, um, are there any particular um, areas that you and your firm is better at? We're better at really helping companies grow and like grow in a significant way. And so we typically take like small and medium sized companies and help them grow like 2x, 5x, 10x, 20x over a period of years. And so we're really great at like helping companies really grow. And they're also like really up to something special and something meaningful. They're doing good work out in the world. I'm not talking about like CSR, where it's like, hey, look at all the great things we're doing over here, so you don't see us doing all this crap over here. <laughs> no, companies where like, you know, what they do and who they are, they're out to do really great work. That's who we're really great at. And then um, people who attach to that, that also believe that their work should be as force for good and work out be really meaningful, that, that's who we connect to. See, and it's really, me... really broad. You know, yeah, that's that's a powerful thing. I mean, companies really seeking to do good. That ha that that's from the top down, you know, and the bottom up. Um, exactly, and we've proven that it's not just a, something nice to do or that it's something that's great. Personally, I think those will be the only companies that are around in a number of years. And we've proven and we've seen this that companies that live like that and grow like it have greater stability, profitability, and the fastest run to accomplish their mission. So it's, it's not only just a great thing to do and a great experience, but that's the way that you really unlock the full potential of the business. So now it makes a lot of sense to me why you're as involved in the Secret Sauce Society as you are, because our mission is, is, is very succinctly this. It's good business to make a difference in the lives of those we work with, do business with, and seek business from, yeah. right? And you're a regular there, you're a member, because that is really what it's about. Show up to the event, try to make a difference in somebody's life. And then that altruistic notion attracts business owners and other professionals that are of like mind, and therefore those are the right people for you in the room. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's easy, it's easy when I walk in, there's a lot of like-minded people that are, that are doing just incredible work out there. And so it does, it feels really natural. I love that. So um, again, these are meant to be short. How, what's a good way for people to get in touch with you? Uh, let's say they, they um, are that kind of a company and they wanna have a conversation with you. Um, you're in LinkedIn. How do you, you know, what's the name of your company? How do you give, give us the information? <laughs> yeah. So the company name is Potiri uh, and PotiriTalent.com is the website. So P-O-T-E-R-E, -E, that's the name, talent.com. You can learn some more info there. You can shoot me a note. Um, and then also, of course, we're on LinkedIn, Nick Morrison. You can find me there. And uh, what would really be special is to see you at the, at the Secret Sauce event. I just love meeting people face to face and shaking hands and seeing and meeting there. So that would really be ideal. Uh, but certainly on the web if you want to find me there. That's great, Nick. Um, I just wanted to say one personal note, how much I appreciate you, how um, we have been connected for a few years now. And uh, anytime I've ever introduced you to anybody, not only do I get great feedback, but half the time they're like, oh my God, yeah, I know Nick. I don't know why I didn't think of contacting him. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well then contact him. So um, audience out there, just so you know, they know, I mean, people know me as a, like a connector or a super connector. Um, people like me get feedback. And I get really good feedback on Nick Morrison. So um, if you don't know Nick, you have recruitment needs, you have highly specialized needs. Um, he is somebody who really has gas. And those who know me, I'm not joking about that. I mean, you can't teach, give a shit. You know, you can't take a, a course in it, you can't read a book on it. So Nick, Thank you for who you are, for all the gas you have, for all the help you provide me in my life, for just showing up, for being you. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much. And you'll find this in our uh, Slack channel and, of course, on YouTube. You can use this anytime you like. 
Thank you so much, Andrew. And I just, I, I have to say something, man. I, I so recognize you for who you are and your stand in the world. Like, it's amazing to hop in here and you, you give me this recognition and to highlight me. Uh, but none of this is possible without you, Andrew. In your stand in order to really bring people together and create this community of, uh, of gathering it together it's not possible without you and i'm fully convinced that it doesn't but it happen takes, without showing up thank you it takes a community right it takes you know it's one thing to have an idea it's another thing to um be a part of that idea it can't be a movement without people to move it right so uh, thank you for sharing what I consider really what's important, which yeah. is ultimately relationships, real connection, making a difference in somebody's life. And for you, it really matches your story. So thank you for sharing that and have a great weekend. Thank you, Andrew. You too, have a great weekend. Take care, man. Bye.